Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create a watercolor wedding slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, 1920 by 1080, this is our main comp. Now create a new white solid layer. I call this BG. Now create a new comp. I call this BG texture. Now drag the white texture image into the timeline and resize according to the comp. Now drag our BG texture comp into the main comp. And search curves effect. And make your curves like this. Now search motion tile effect. Output width and height 300 pixels. And check mirror edges. And turn on 3D layer. Now go to 2 view, and move the layer a little bit back side of the comp. Now create one more composition. This is our placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timeline, and resize according to the comp. Now drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline, and turn on 3D layer, select layer and search tint effect. Then search cartoon effect. Increase threshold and width too. Now search fast blur effect. And increase blurriness 5. And change layer opacity 20%. Now go to first frame, and add a keyframe on opacity. And change opacity 0%, then go to around 2 seconds forward, and change opacity 20%. Now go to project window and create new composition. This is our mat 1 comp. Drag water mat footage into the timeline. Now go to main comp. And duplicate the placeholder 1 layer. Then drag mat 1 comp into the timeline and turn on 3D layer. Select placeholder layer and change track mataluma mat. Also delete opacity keyframes, and change opacity 50%. Cool. Now create a new composition. 400 by 600 pixels. I call this side text. Select text tool. And create a paragraph box. And type random text here. Now go to 10 frames forward. And trim the layer. Now duplicate the layer and move 10 frames forward. We need to change this layer text. So change your text here. Now select both layers and duplicate them. And move forward. 
Similarly we need to duplicate the layers and move forward, around 6 to 7 seconds forward. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After duplicate all layers, go to main comp. And drag side text into the timeline. And turn on 3D layer, now go to two views. And move little bit back side of the comp. And adjust top left side of the comp. Now duplicate the layer, and adjust right bottom side of the comp. We also need to move our first placeholder layer, little bit back side of the comp, and resize layer according to the comp. Now create a new full HD composition. I call this brush mat. Drag brush image into the timer line, and resize it. Now duplicate the layer. We need to move our anchor point, left side of the brush. Select layer and press S for scale. Go to 2 seconds forward and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame, unlink scale amount, and change X scale 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now select bottom layer and change track mat, alpha mat. Perfect. Now go to main comp, and drag brush mat into the timer line. Select layer and search fill effect. And change fill color white. Now search drop shadow effect. Change opacity 20%. Distance 30. And softness 50. Now create a new composition. I call this text 1. Select text tool and type your text. Go to main comp and drag text 1 comp into the timer line. Now duplicate the brush mat layer. And move above the text 1 layer. Select text layer, and change track mat alpha mat. Now select all three layers and turn on 3D layer. Now create a null layer. I call this text null layer. Then select brush mat and text one layer, and parent with text null layer. Now we can easily adjust our text and brush mat layers. Resize and rotate the layer a little bit. And adjust bottom side of the comp. Perfect. Now create a new composition. This is our main photo one comp. Drag placeholder one into the timer line. Then drag mat one comp into the timer line. Select placeholder layer and change track mat luma mat. Cool. Now duplicate both layers. Then select second placeholder layer and pre-compose them. I call this image one. Open image one comp. And delete mat one layer. Now drag gold paper texture image into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. And track mat none. Now go to main photo comp. Select image one and search tint effect. Then search curves effect. 
and change your curves like this. Also change track mat luma mat. Cool. Select mat 1 and image 1 layer and move few frames forward. Now duplicate the bottom mat and placeholder layer, and move above all layers. And also move few frames forward. Perfect. Now go to main comp. And drag main photo 1 into the timeline. and turn on 3D layer. Now go to two views. Select main photo layer, and move little bit close to the camera. Now create a camera. I am using 50 mm preset camera. Then create a new null layer. Convert as a 3D layer and parent your camera with null layer. Now select null layer press P for position, and shift R for rotation. Then go to around 3 second forward, and add a keyframe on position, and Z rotation. Then go to first frame, and move Z position little bit close to the camera, and move X and Y position right corner of the comp and change Z rotation minus 20 degrees select position keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this then also easy ease the rotation keyframes Cool. Now apply wiggle expression on position and rotation, so hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and type wiggle expression. Now select both side text layers. Press T for opacity, go to first frame and add a keyframe and change opacity 0%. Then go to 1 second forward, and change opacity 100%. Now we need to adjust our layers. Select our text and brush mat layers, and move few frame forward. Then move main photo layer. We need to move our text layer, so go to two views, and move our text null layer close to camera. And you can resize them. Perfect. Also move our placeholder and mat lay a few frames forward. Cool. Now drag light leak footage into the timeline, and change layer mode screen.
Now create a new solid layer. Change solid color black. This is our fade layer. Go to first frame press T for opacity. And add a keyframe. Then go to one second forward. And change opacity 0%. Select all layers and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1. Now create an adjustment layer. Then search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Then search sharpen effect. And change sharpen amount 25. Then search glow effect. Glow intensity 0.1. And glow radius 500. But as you can see our image is not clear. So open scene 1. Then open camera options. And increase focus distance around 2000 pixels. Here you can see. Now create a new black solid layer. Select ellipse tool. And create an ellipse. Change add to subtract. And increase mask feather 500 pixels. And change layer opacity 50%. Now drag old film footage into the timeline. Change layer mode screen. Opacity around 50%. And also increase the scale amount little bit. Perfect. Our animation has done. Hit zero for render. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.